European companies can now ban women from wearing the hijab to work. What the? Assalamu alaikum. What's going on, everybody? Recently, the EU has stated that companies are allowed to ban the hijab worn by Muslim women for the sake of presenting a neutral image. A neutral image? Neutral to what? Neutral to who? What exactly do you think that Muslim women do at work that takes away their neutrality? Actually, actually, let me let me just take a step back. <laughs> What is this neutrality? I need answers. Also, I need subscribers. So please like and share this video and subscribe to my channel. Now back to the EU's amazing work. So where did this whole thing really start? From what I read and what I was able to find, a while back, two Muslim women in Germany were fired from their jobs for wearing hijabs or headscarves. The Muslim women took this to court and instead of being protected and given their rights, Instead, the court gave this ridiculous ruling. The European Union's top court has come out with a controversial ruling. What was it about? Wearing religious symbols in the workplace. The case was filed by two Muslim women from Germany. One worked at a childcare home in Hamburg, the other as a cashier at a drugstore. Both women were fired from their job. Why? Because they wore headscarves to work. Not a full veil, but the hijab, which is a religious head covering. So these women approached courts in Germany. Their case was shifted to Europe's top court in Luxembourg. The court's job was simple. Decide between two freedoms, a Muslim woman's freedom to, of religious expression and a business owner's freedom to protect neutrality. That is, to keep religion out of their shops. The court sided with the businesses. And this was the verdict. European companies can now ban women from wearing the hijab to work. Here is the full statement by the European Court of Justice. A prohibition of wearing any visible form of expression of political, philosophical, or religious beliefs in the workplace may be justified by the employer's need to present a neutral image towards customers or to prevent social disputes. Let's break down this stupidity. Number one. Banning any visible expression. First and foremost, what is the largest group of people that wear a visible religious dress? Any takers? Anyone? Just take a guess. Yeah, you sir, in the back. I know, I know, the Muslims. That is correct. This will primarily impact Muslim women. Also, this can impact Sikh men as well who wear turbans on their heads or Jewish men who wear skull caps. But primarily, disproportionately, Muslim women. And the ruling applies to all religious symbols, not just the hijab. But the target, it seems, is clear. Europe does not have a problem with people wearing the cross or the Jewish kippah. It's always the hijab that gets Europe riled up. So is this really about neutrality? And what does neutrality even mean here? Businesses cannot strip their employees of their identity. These are human beings, they're not robots or clones. Number two, what on earth does a neutral image even mean? Please, please, some, someone just define this for me. I'll wait. You know how stupid this sounds? L let me give you an example. Imagine, imagine you work as a lifeguard. You work in a team of 10 men and women and your manager walks in one day and says, <coughs> good, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, good evening. So we, ju we just had a meeting with corporate and uh, we, 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 have the, we have a message to tell to our, all of our employees. So our employers want us all to uh, appear neutral. They want us to look uniform, you know? So they ask us all to start wearing, you know, the same thing. No, no, I, I, I don't mean, you know, the same color I don't mean like you know similar patterns I mean we, we all have to wear shorts and be topless even the women or by neutrality do you just mean that everyone is simply not Muslim or not visibly Muslim for that matter first they went for the niqab or the burqa the face cover saying things like we can't see your face your face is it's too important to us we want to be able to communicate with you effectively and properly. Yeah, when COVID hit, everybody must wear a mask, no problem. And now they're going for the hijab, the headscarf, saying things like, some companies want to present a neutral image. Whatever the heck that means. It probably means no visible diversity. Number three. To prevent social disputes. Social disputes? What on earth is a social dispute? Do you mean some people at work or some customers will be unhappy if you hire a visible Muslim, Sikh, or Jew? You mean customers and employees who are visibly racist? Maybe we should work on fixing that 
instead. And just when you think we're done. But wait, there's more. Finally, number four. The European core also said, of course, of course, all of this will be done only under certain conditions in a manner that protects religious freedoms. Are you stupid? How can you say ban the hijab but also protect religious freedoms in the same sentence? I mean honestly, what the hell is the point of this entire policy if your whole goal is to protect religious freedoms? Let me tell you what the European Court of Justice really meant to say. We at the European Court of Justice, we hold religious freedoms to a high regard. <clears throat> Except if you're visibly religious. <laughs> it sucks to be Muslim. Sorry about that. Also, we believe that banning the hijab is uh, it's completely okay. And quite frankly, we don't actually give a damn about your religious freedoms, <laughs> especially if you're Muslim. But we can't really say that. So uh, yeah, so that's why we kind of like, you know, worded it in a confusing way where we really kind of sort of make you think that we care, <laughs> but we don't. Anyways, long story short, we think that Islam is oppressive, and it's unacceptable that Islam tells women how to dress. Therefore, as the European Court of Justice, we will free women by telling them how to dress. Any questions? Didn't think so. Thank you. In conclusion, all this does is it gives employers a legal reason to not hire Muslim women. You are literally oppressing Muslim women who practice their faith in accordance with their protected rights to religious freedoms. Dear European Court of Justice, Muslim women are not being oppressed because of Islam. They are being oppressed because of your xenophobia, bigotry, and Islamophobia. As people, Muslims and non-Muslims alike, we must stand up against this ruling. We must make sure that everyone is protected regardless of if they're visibly religious or not. And at the very least, we can start by sharing this video and raising awareness. It appears that the European Court of Justice forgot a key part of their name, justice. So it's up to us, the people, to remind them. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and share this video. Support me by subscribing to my channel. And until next time, I'm that Muslim guy. Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you.